everyone, welcome to the first one shot of my Solar's game, The Encroaching Darkness. Um, with us tonight, we have Oliver, who is nice enough to run it for us. We have Martin, thank you for joining us, bud. Say something in Ewok, but I don't know how to do that. So. <laughs> and we have Dave, thank you for joining us, bud, the first time joining us. Ah, uh, do you want a longer? <laughs> we have uh, Chris. He uh, stepped away, but yeah. Um, each of these gentlemen are uh, playing their own little flavor of fun characters. Uh, if you guys want to maybe like you know like talk a little bit about your characters, maybe if you want a little something. Okay. Well, I mean, we just take a photo of myself in my costume that I made because it's sick, but it's too. <laughs> sick. Um, no, I think they would just need to see you in the costume. <laughs> Oh, no, you just need to take a photo of it and just bring it up. Yeah, I'll take a photo of myself in it later and add it on. I did make a sick costume, folks. You'll see it later. <laughs> yeah, it was it's, cool. it's really good, but it's too sweaty to play in. You must be shit at Halloween. You're like, I was going to dress up, but I've taken a picture of what I was going to wear. It's cold at Halloween, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right in between July and August, it's warm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very warm around. So, do you want to, like, what your name and your character is and the such like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do a wee bit of that then. So, Click is a Jawa. A, 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 not mercenary, what's the career path? It's, uh, smuggler. it's uh, smuggler. Yes, it's smuggler. Yeah, he's a smuggler. Gunslinger. Yeah, two foot little gunslinger. He's walking around the belt going like... Ding, dun, dun. Pew, pew, pew. He's a pew, pew, pew. Yep, uh, they like you know they they could be very nasty. Um, all right, Martin, do you want to say about your, your character? Yeah, I am CP3 Walk. I am a droid, uh, and I am a doctor or medic. I can't remember which one, but yeah, I do the I heal people. I'm a healer basically, and <laughs> um, I basically the other way you say it's uh, my. Dad was an Ewok, and my mother was one of them heavy duty printers, and they fucked, and then that's who I am. Well, that's what I think I am. So <laughs> I think I'm an Ewok, um, even though, like, I'm actually a droid. But, yeah. yeah. That's me. I'm a colonist, which I don't know what that means. I think that means I go and help people. Uh, you know, so, colonies planets, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so actually, the colonists are the, the people who go to different planets to, like, you know, to uh, settle and stuff. So you basically are a seller, but your uh, your profession is you're a doctor. So basically, okay. that's what your specialization is. Your profession. Now we have the master ass kicker right here, Mr. Chris. <laughs> if he wants to describe his character and everything he wants to about it. I am a uh, Crick Rondo, uh, Rondul, and I uh, I'm a bounty hunter, human. I am a master of combat. And, uh, yeah. Can't wait to get a drink at the bar. Oh, right. Well, uh, Chris, I just want to know what's really cool, especially your characters. Like, you have these nasty pair of uh, brass knuckles for your fists. But what you do, you actually have a, a particular bow staff. It's an electrified bow staff that basically retracts out. So whenever you mm -hmm. want to fight out, it basically stuns. Or you can do actually damage with it. Nice. I thought There's you might like that. Gotcha. Yeah, it's nice. yeah I, thought, I thought you might like that. That's cool. Now we have the Mighty Dave. Would you like the... I am... Yeah, I am Etile Zoo. Um, I'm a Twi'lek mechanic, technician, nothing I can't fix. Apart from my sense of smell, seeing as we appear to have picked up a Jawa on this ship. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, you guys are actually... Um... In a like uh, a, a very rundown uh, cantina uh, on the planet Tatooine. This is like you guys are hired from uh, Zet the Hut. You guys are part of one of his like hired little crews. You're on a very small starship, nothing sp spectacular. Uh, the ship's called the Long Shot. It's it's like you know it's bare by miracle. Like you know, uh, Zoo is keeping that thing alive with duct tape and probably some chewing gum, maybe. <laughs> and not a small amount of skill. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you guys just recently just got done with a uh, recent um, run from Zet. You basically drop a couple crates that you didn't weren't told uh, what it is. Uh, Zet is one of those up-and-coming huts that he works with some of the bigger ones that he d handles the small little trading and little uh, shipping that for some of the bigger huts. Uh, you guys are in the cantina probably getting drinks and stuff, waiting for your uh, next probably run, anything that comes up. Just a quick question. Now, then. As a crew, yes. do we have a droid as an NPC that's like a little translator droid or something? Because I probably don't speak human. I probably speak like. Uh, yeah, 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 I think I was I'm, I'm, to speak. I'm a droid though, so I'm sure I'd have, have like you, have some you got translation, all the translation chips and stuff. And then yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah to be fair, I can I can probably speak Jawa. I'm a Twilight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you guys want to translate for him. It's like he speaks basic, like, Javanese. is like, for everybody else, their main language. Nobody ever understands. So they have the merchant Jawa language, which is hellacious. Funny that they well, have. I assume that three CP walk can understand all of us, but uh, he might have oh, to yeah. translate us to the others. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he definitely can cover that for you guys. So you guys I, are probably I mean, talking listen. about... I, me and Zuko speak in Javanese then. Does, well, does, yeah. does, does Crick speak Javanese? No. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like a <laughs> little rat man. <laughs> um, Crick's, Crick's by the bar. He's asking, is this a hot bar? Uh, so you, the, the guy that you turn around is literally you turn, you see this huge Wookiee turns around and is like... Rrr, rrr. Not too bad. It's basically, yeah, it's about midday. It's like really nothing going on. Uh, it's like probably a few patrons. He he says that like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And as you're talking through, you see the uh, the front door of the cantina opens up, and there's like four guys walk in, and you can see uh, they're like. Really... Yes. Quick question. Sorry. Yes. Um, when when's this set? Well, the Empire. Set, it... Yeah, is it Empire um, winning? Yeah, it's, it's, it's between is episode it? four and five. It's set between right, episode four. Cool. So that's always a good time to have it. It's around like around episode four and five. Um, you guys notice these guys are like you know they're the straight normal like you know gangs. There's, you know, like, you know, they're like, you know, and you notice you could hear, like, you know, a couple swoop bikes, they just, you know, uh, just came on, and these guys are just, you know, just slapping each other's back, it's like, yeah, and they, uh, they just, you know, they're just, um, talking to each other, it's like, man, that was a good heist, so they sit down and look at the wiki, it's like, we want, you know, like, they used like, we want some, uh, some of your strongest shit that you have, and then, like, the wiki looks at them, like, it's like whatever, and he goes over, grabs a bottle, and just drops it in front of them. And they just kind of look over to Chris, and one of them's like, "I think I know you." How do you? How do you want to help? No one knows me. No one knows me around right here. Keeping, yeah, the other I'm one. Keeping an eye on Crick from the other end of the bar, so. He's, he's my crew member, so I'm keeping an eye on him. Didn't even do the Jedi thing with your hand. You could have pretended. Uh, yeah. well, he he doesn't he doesn't have the Jedi powers yet. He he you could is fake it. He's <laughs> fake it till you make it. That's all the top Jedi say. So. Yeah, it's like so. you know, like well, if you wanted to try something, possibly, but uh, like you know, the, like some of the other guys, kind of like you see him, kind of like. Yeah, I recognize this one, and like this guy's a little bigger than him, and it looks like Chris and he pushes him. Yeah, you you the one that lost me money. Is I've seen you fight before. And I immediately reach into my coat, and my hand comes out with brass knuckles on it. And I tell him to back off. Clicks with his hand on his waist, uh, little yeah. All right, now, uh, Crick, if you want to, you can roll, uh, you can roll your uh, skill for it, would probably be uh, coercion because you're basically intimidating them. So, your coercion is 
Yeah. Just tell me what the click. <laughs> so this uh, cake uh, coercion and this uh, add uh, two. Uh, hold on. Uh, two purple, and yep. then just roll those. Yeah. So this roll uh, this two purple is you supposed to do it at the same time. So when you oh. roll the, because that's your difficulty. Just this roll two purple. Just click on two oh. purple and just roll it. There we go. <laughs> all right, so uh, all right now w this is why I'll explain how this happens. Uh, did you roll your uh, did you roll your coercion or new? No? no, I didn't. All right, so see what it right. says character above where it says roll dice, Chris. Click on that and the scroll yes. down. It's got all your skills. Go to coercion, click it, and then click the purple dice too to add to, and then roll cool. like that. Dude, that's even better. That's there you even go. better. That's even better. So you're sitting there. All right. So uh, all right. Now this is great. Uh, the, to show you what it is. Now, if you notice the dice, there's the shot, that little, like, you know, like, it looks like gunshot. That's the success. The next to it is called an advantage. What advantage does, one, is, like, if you take any points of strain, you can use your uh, ability of advantages to combat that. And, um, I think you you forgot to add the purple. Yeah, do the same again, oh, but, oh, but that, and then it's and the yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, you got, yeah, this is still like you know, you're still learning how to do this, hey, but still, at least, hey, go. that's still good. You still like that, that's good. Um, like the advantages gives you, uh, as back, like if you take in, like if you got stunned or somebody like you know hits you, uh, with some kind of hit and disorients you, you take points of strain, and what it is, advantages allows you to get that back. Now, threat. Uh, basically, the little triangle takes away your success, and the little uh, what's called a yeah, the threat takes it away from the this uh, advantage, and the uh, failure is the little triangle. But see, you succeeded. So you're sitting there, and the guy kind of stops back, and it's like, uh, and you know, like, you know, you're kind of like cracking your knuckles. You know, the brass knuckles hand is like. Yeah, um, and he, he kind of pushes his buddy ahead. It's like, yeah, once you ask him about it, you know, get your credits back. It's like, fine. And he, you know, this guy, his friend basically, you know, comes up to you. He has his fist. And it's like, let's let's see if I can get my credits out of you now. Now I what immediately uh, leg sweep, and he goes crashing to the ground. Can I? Okay. Can I try and sneak around the back of his buddies then and see what I can? Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna do what's called roll initiative. Me. Yeah. So what you do is like I'm gonna start the initiative. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then what? Initiative. Then what you do is you uh, click on what's called cool on your skills, and that's all you got to do is roll. Okay. All right. What? Where's cool? It's under your skills. Like you see how you did that? All oh, that is awesome. That's all you do. You uh, click on your cool because. And I if like you notice on the left side, we're using. this is good. Yeah, and what's nice, it automatically does the initiative. And what it is is that you just click on uh, your uh, character. There you go. And that's hey. that's cool. Everybody else rolls that one. Then I, I'm going to roll for the NPCs for their initiative. I'm uh, They're all going to go at the same time. That's um, the only how I'm going to do it. But what's really cool, after you guys get done... The way the initiative does is that anybody can go at any time they want. So it's like, no matter what everybody rolls. So it's like, like I say, the first round, everybody goes. And if you want to crick, like, you know, it hits this guy, mess him up. Everybody goes through. You can go again. Or it's like, you know, like, let's say Click was doing something. He was at, he decided to go at the end of the round. But he wanted to do something in the beginning of the round. He can do that again. He can go from last to first. It's just anybody can fluctuate through it. Is it depending on like what happens? Like it's like cinematically, this is awesome. So it's like this guy did this something, but the next turn he can do this. So do you just so. choose what ha who goes next in the show? Well, anybody does. It's it's the choice of the PC. Everybody's just gonna try and go first then, aren't they? Well, that's just just like you know, it's like, hey, do you mind if I go first? Oh, you know, okay. it's everybody so you have to work it out. Well, yeah, you work it out like how it goes. But what it is, it's like. If two people are fighting out, it's like, all right, so it's like, I'm fighting this one guy, and the last two people were messing him up, and he's about to go down. It's like, hey, you guys mind if we go first on the next, you know, the next round? 
So I was like, we can take this guy out. It's like, all right, it's cool. So we take this guy out. Okay. And there you go. So it's like, it's his, it's like, you know, a cinematic. So it's like, you guys, a big gunfight. And, you know, you're fighting one of the last guys. And like, hey, uh, it's like, at the next turn, I want to kill this guy and just take him straight out. You can do that. Okay. Well, I've, my so plan we is just... to get around the back of his buddies and see if we can steal their weapons. <laughs> okay, so all we're li missing is our Twi'lek friend to roll their initiative. Oh, sorry. I was, I've was i seen all of this before. I'm just sitting there watching. Um, oh, yeah. All I will try and scope out is the... Right, it was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, is there, a, oh, okay. like, a back door to this place that I can sneak out rather than um, walking, walking straight out the front? I'll, just, I'll do that there. See, so as I'm gonna stop the initiative. So, all right, that's cool. I could have rolled it, but I'm just gonna let those guys go last, so, so you guys can get used to it. Um. So, um, if you want to, it's like if this is if you want to do that first, that would have to be the first PC action. If you want to see if there's a back door. Yeah, I'm not really interfering with the fight, so. Um... Yeah, let him do that okay. first, then, and then I'll go okay, so... next. So if you want to roll your perception, then add two purple. That's a that's a medium uh, difficulty, because it's like you know it's it's kind of run down. It's kind of everything. It's kind of blended in. You just you know. It... Ooh, ooh, triumph! Ooh. Oh, oh, I, I actually, only because I'm I've I've played this um, game before. I've been into these sorts of bars. I've sat with my back to the wall next to the back door. <laughs> just habit. I guess. All right. So, uh, Zoo, so you're sitting to the back, you're like in the back table in the area. Uh, what you notice, Zoo, is like, you know, it's like there was a back door, but you notice it's kind of busted. But is where you're standing next to, you see there's actually, it looks like a panel to a secret escape hatch if you needed it, that you can get out of the building if you needed to. So, yeah, I, I, I've seen that uh, Crick handle himself before. Um, there's only, there's only really one way um, this is probably going to go down, so I'm, I'm just going to sit here. Take a, right. take a swig of my drink. I'm just going to watch. Okay, so... Can I, go next right, so yeah, can I go next? I want to go before the fight kicks off. Okay, no, that's fine. So and what is nice is that with this one, all i got to do is press this. This goes to the next character. So in that basically is like, all right, that's cool. This person goes next. So there you go, progresses. Because if there's an NPC between each of the uh, PCs, that's like, hey, the NPCs goes, this PC goes, and it kind of fluctuates. It's pretty cool. So what do you want to try to do? So I want to get back round the back of these guys and see who's got mm -hmm. a weapon that I can steal from them with a wee slight hand or whatever it is. Okay, so I will, let's say you can roll stealth. Okay. That you get a blue dice because they're not really paying attention because you're so short you're going under the tables kind of weaving around they're kind of focusing on uh crick right now so add one blue dice yeah yeah you get one blue dice and it's going to be a medium maybe two purple so two purple yep let's go one success all right so you, you yeah so you you successfully you know sneak around there you get close to one of the guys and there's like the fourth guy and the, and the guy you're getting close to is the guy who kind of backed up and it's like the one guy's uh dealing with uh crick and um and his two buddies right in front of him and the other guy that he basically intimidated backwards he just kind of back up you get to him and you actually notice that he actually has a uh stun baton on his left side are you going to try to grab it? Yes. Okay, so this is going to be a... What's cool, you're going to love this, is there's uh, stealth, is uh, Skullduggery, is usually it's all the thieving skills. Like, you know, you're picking locks, yeah, you're kind of doing all that kind of stuff. Now, now, what it is, is that if you're trying to slide a hands, you're just rolling stealth. There's no, like, slide of hands, that's all in stealth. Yeah. I'll so, and that's... Off. And that is going to be the same thing. So it's just you're just rolling yourself. It's like with a two purple. Oh, sorry. I forgot to add. No, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Two successes, four advantages. Mm hmm. Will I roll two purple as well? Yeah, just roll two purple. One failure, two threats. Yeah, so you got one success and two advantage. You still go. So you kind of slide it out of his belt. You see the little Joe Echo. Little Klepto hands is sticking out of it. 
All right, so we will go to does either uh, uh, three walk want to go, or does Craig want to just knock the hell of this guy's ass out? Yeah, I'm not doing much. I'm just watching the guys be idiots. Finland and Ewoks were weird, so that's useful. <laughs> so, um, I uh, do a spinning like leg kick. I can't demonstrate it. I went for a run. <laughs> so, I like flick my leg under his, swiping mm -hmm. him off his feet okay. onto the floor. So, how do I roll for uh, that brawl? All you gotta do, yeah, just roll your brawl. And all you're gonna do with that one is gonna be a hard difficulty. Uh, that'd be just three purples. Three purples. Mm hmm. Okay, and then. Oh, as you're attempting to try to do that. that, yeah, so it's like you're trying to, like, it, it's spectacular, like, spin, like, trip. You're trying to knock this guy over it, but he kind of jumps back and actually lands on top of, uh, like, a stool and it's kind of like. Ha! Don't think I've not seen that move before. Okay. okay. And he just, he, he goes like that, you're like, damn. Now it's three walk. do you want to try to do something, or are you just kind of just sitting back and letting, you know... Man, I guess if we're like a crew, I mean, I'd probably be used to this, so I'll probably just be watching and making sure no one's going to get hurt. If anyone looks hurt, I'm going to go and try and heal them. I'm, uh, immediately gonna use my uh energy bow staff on the one that reclined away from me yeah. i'm gonna try and knock him out and I'm, uh, okay and I'm going next. from the floor chris. position chris I'm what you gonna gonna super... chris you gotta wait until the next turn is the npc oh, okay oh okay, no, sorry. No, like no it's fine it said um as soon as these guys go you can go the first time so uh like, you know, it's, uh, the one guy's backed off. He's not going to miss you. His buddy that was going to fight you, he's going to try to swing on you. It doesn't seem like he's very tough. Now, what it is is that the difficulty is normally would have been smaller. But the way I do it is your di the difficulty for them is equal to you. Okay. So, my okay. brawl is four. Okay, so is it is it like one yellow and three green? One yellow, three green. Okay, so that is his difficulty. So this guy is, you know, you're a better fighter than this guy, so it's going to be harder for him to even hit you. Yeah. Oh, he misses so bad. And as he tries to punch you, he slips over the bar stool like he's standing on, and he falls up straight on his ass. His other two buddies kind of just, you know, sit back and just kind of like, you know, let him fight it out because, you know, like... They're here just to see what's going on, and it's like, he's the one to start swinging, so they're kind of, if they need to jump in, they will. So they kind of back off. Uh, it is your turn, uh, Crick, if you want to try to uh, do what you want to do. I'm going to uh, draw out my energy bow stuff and mm -hmm. say to him, leave this bar immediately or give me 500 credits um, to continue this fight. Make it last on. <laughs> well, he has to do, uh, like, do you want to try to do another intimidation? Yeah, I'll, I'll do the intimidation. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do, guys, for you right now, you see that yellow dice that's up there? It says force. This right here, this, like, I'll just, I'll just give you a show. This right here is called force dice. And what it does is that if you guys each roll that one, um, well, it does. It allows you to do something really cool. All right, so that's one light side. Two light side. These dice are cool. I'm gonna go out and buy a real set of these and play the Yeah, dude, dude, dude they're, they're awesome. It's like, so uh, the basic system is called Genesis, is a great fantasy system, and it's still out there to use. Uh, they just kind of convert Star Wars to this, and it's really cool. What are you doing, Crick? I'm clicking this. Clicking. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Just click uh, the little force, little uh, the white. 
dice and just roll. Because that's all I need is just uh, the dice from you and a Seawalk. Okay, so. Dark side, C3P walk. Ooh, uh, right. Right. Ooh. All right. So, so yes, I, the assist. Nice. So I will explain. So this is called the. Uh, this is uh, f- uh, the force points. Force points. Uh, or destiny points, you can call it. So what it does is that what's really cool is that this is a more a narrative flavor for your characters. So what it is is that if you say if you're trying to attack somebody, you don't really have a skill on something. You're all green. You say, look, uh, like you just like, hey guys, I'm gonna use one of the dot, like one of the force points, and you're gonna f- you click on it, it flips over, so it upgrades upgrades one of your dice by one, which is a yellow, or you can use that against me. So if I'm rolling, it's like I'm gonna use one of the points against you, so it increases one of your difficulty purples to red, so the chance of you to fail. Or if you want to do is like, I want to do something really cool. It's like, hey, I want to somehow have a thermal detonator in my pocket. Forgot I had it somewhere. And I'm like, okay, there you go. You know, that's something like that. It, it's more really nice narrative flavor. Now, since you guys have more of this one, it never disappears. But as, as you guys use it, I have more to use. But the more I use, the more you guys have it. So it kind of flips back and forth. Okay. But yeah, um... Greg, you kind of like, you know, you're sitting there flexing and he sees the discharge and he's kind of like stands up and kind of like backs up and is like, all right, all right. And it's like, you know, he tells him, he, he kills like, all right, we need to back up, boys. It's like, and they slowly kind of back out. The Wookiee just sits there, kind of grins. And he, and you see him like, you know, like there's this huge like vibro like axe or like, literally right b- below above him and he has his hand about it he was about to do something but he was just sitting there cleaning his glasses just kind of watching him and he's kind of like uh, like uh, i'm stupid and he's like all right we're heading out you guys want to do anything as yeah, they're heading so, out or? Yeah, so, so i want to do the same thing that i did to one of them to another one i want to see what if he's got any weapons or anything valuable i can just lift okay so uh, we will go to the next because it's still in uh, the initiative. So if you want to, you can attempt to do something. Uh, there's one of the other guys. Do you want to roll a perception to see if somebody has something before you start looking around? Or Yep, perception. All right. Uh, just roll perception. And this is going to be a hard difficulty. It'll be three purple because everybody's kind of moving together and they're going like, you know, around people. You succeed, which is good. Um... You do notice that uh, one of them actually looks like they have a really nice cred chip, like you know, sticking out of one of their pockets. Let's go. What's that? All right, now I get a roll. You got a roll stealth. Stealth. Let's go. What's my purples? Uh, that would be three purples because you're kind of like reaching in the guy's kind of pocket I, or something. How do I use a light side point to like? Do I just click on yep. one of them? Yeah, so you click one of, one of those and flip it over, and you can increase one of your green to a pur- uh, green to a yellow. Right. So, so instead of four greens, it'd be one yellow and three greens. All right. So just take out a green and add a yellow. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Zero. Ooh. Two all right. All right. All right. Triumph. All right. So look, look. So so what it is is that you don't initially. So what it is is that you don't initially fail. But it's like you don't initially succeed. It's like what it is is that you you're trying to get in his pocket and you're grabbing a cred chip and you pull it out. But it's like what you pull out is like ha! You pull something shiny in your hands. It's like ha ha! And you you know you kind of run off and you stick in your hands. You don't find a cred chip, but you find it's a weird like it looks like you know it would be equivalent like a uh, thumb drive, but some kind of weird device. You're kind of like okay. what the hell is this? And while you're looking at this, it's like it looks like it might be worth something to, to somebody, but you don't know. Pocket that. That is pocketed. And, and uh, you know, everybody, you know, they they kind of back out, and as as he's leaving, and it's like you know, Craig's just kind of putting his thing away. It's like, don't think this is the end of this boy, and he just runs out. And this whole crew right there speeds off, and then like the the. The Wookiee kind of looks at you, Craig, and he, you know, he slides you over a really nice glass of, uh, like, you know, like some strong stuff, and he kind of like nods you, like he's like on house. <laughs> I 
So in uh, so you guys, yeah. So hope you guys enjoy. This is basically a first example of how like the dice roll system works. Well, I imagine really? I imagine the the stun button to my character sheet. I guess it goes on the brawl. Uh, actually, it's a melee weapon. It's yes. actually a melee weapon. Oh yeah, melee. So what's the damage on it? I can actually bring it up for you. Give me one second. And the encumbrance and the hard points and the rarity. Because I'm just filling it. Mm -hmm. in. And the range is it uh, short? No, it'll be engaged. Uh. It's, engage, it's engaged. It's just basically a shock baton. Damage adds see. brawn, yes or no? Uh, it's, uh, it's usually there's a minimum damage, but it adds to whatever successes that you have. Mm. There you go. Because I gave you the wiki. So I just need to know yes. the encumbrance, hard points, and crit. Oh, it? absolutely. Let me see. Weapons. And the damage. Whatever, whatever Melee. Whatever damage yep. Goes. Uh, let's see. There you go. What is it? I can't read it. Right, so, so it's, uh, it's uh, two damage. It's yeah. a plus two damage. Um, it's crit of four. It's engage range. It's encumbrance of one. Yep. And HP of two. Yep. And it has a disorient of two, and it's stun. So it's basically it's like you can use it as a stun baton, or you can use it as a rigor baton. Okay. Do I click the damage adds brawn button or anything? Uh, no, uh, you just what you do is like, it, it's just for the uh for the damage. Is it for the skill? It would be uh melee. Like, oh, brawn, yeah, it's equal brawn. So you just add your brawn to it. But it's still a nice little thing, because it's like, you know, it's like, what is stunt baton? It's like, there's multiple uses for a shock baton. <laughs> nice. But, yeah. Provided that. All right. So, uh, you guys, so you encountered your first fight. Damn, you know, like, you know, there's a little, uh... Street gang, um, as you know, you guys are calling through. Is that uh, so, Dave? You you know, you're sitting there, just you know, uh, like looking around, what's going on. You you see your comm is kind of flashing, and like you know, it's a like beep. You know, has to make a little Ooh. beeping noise. I'll um, pop my head. Uh, yeah, like, earpiece in. Yeah, it's like ah, Zoo, how you doing? Uh, this is uh, Renar, uh, the uh, Shinnishaw for Zed the Hut. He has requested you and your crew to uh, return to his um, domicile for your next assignment. Cool. Um, we're just tidying up out here. Um, you know, he really ought to uh, tidy the place up a bit more. It's lots of more riffraff than there used to be. But uh, yeah, we'll be along um, shortly. Okay. So, uh, do you relay the message? Like, Guys, stop playing. Time to go. <laughs> like, probably comes out from under a table and is like, Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, I took my headphones off, actually. What did I miss on the message? <laughs> uh, time to go and see the boss. Oh, if yeah. if you finish just, like, playing with your old food. Old Zet the Hut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does 3CP walk have any weapons? I've got like a laser gun thing. Nice. Okay. It, it's, a, it's basically like a light blaster pistol. It basically it's like for protection. So it's like everybody has at least something because it's like your Star Wars, you gotta have something to protect you. Especially if you're gonna be on uh, Tatooine and you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm like from, everybody I'm from, has a gun. I might, get, I might have this wrong, but I'm gonna have from Tatooine if I'm a Jawa. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. yeah, there are some Jawa, you know, clans all around. Yeah, there, there's a, there's a couple on different other planets. Uh, and what it is as a Jawa, you do know there is an elusive space clan that somehow converted a uh, one of those, uh, like, you know, the, the land riggers they have into a spaceship. And they basically just truck along through the entire galaxy, going to different planets with, like, you know, the poster different wares and stuff. It's the only one you ever heard, and somehow they got off Tatooine somehow with that. Well, I've been off Tatooine traveling with this crew. We've been around the, the galaxy. 
and mm-hmm. I'm the one that fixes the ship. Technician guy thinks he fixes the ship, but it's not really. The ship would fall apart without a, a Jawa. Mm, no, 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 no. You, 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 you see, to be this kind of attitude is why I hate yeah, Jawas. He, he, he pretends that he fixes stuff. He just, you know, he hits something. It's like, look, it fixed. It's like. Yeah, he's not the most uh, technically inclined. He's more like, you know, he's more the uh, guy that was like, he's more the hothead of the Jawas. That is why he's kind of like, you know, he just like, gun is like, yes. You so, might fix it, but he wouldn't have any of the parts without me stealing them all. Oh, yeah, he, he he's like, you know, he brings you stuff. He's like, where the hell did this come from? He's like, oh. Yeah, except that you also sell half of our shit every time we go to port, and I have to go and buy it back, so I don't... Don't give me the. Oh, I bring Sell in some it money. So that I can buy upgrades for this yet. Yeah, it's like, oh, you didn't need it as the engine coils. We know we're here getting something. And it's like, or he goes to another ship and comes back with like, you know, like a lifter. It's like, hey, guess what I found? We need to go now. <laughs> we sold four doors because I wanted a spoiler on the sunroof. <laughs> Or like you, you see like a like probably like you know it's like a like a land speeder come by and it's like you know it's like you know on like blocks and it's like. Why is it on blocks? It's like I just took the hovers. It's <laughs> like the little hover machine. But yeah, so um, ship is off. Yeah, Leave so because uh, of me. I, I didn't know if you guys want to take a break until Chris comes back or anything like that, or you guys want to keep going through. I don't mind waiting for Chris. Well, that's fine. Um, yeah, so uh, we could take uh, like you know five minute break yeah. if you guys want to yeah chris has to go outside to smoke okay. he lives with his mark so uh, <laughs> right. no but if you guys like if there's any questions or anything right now that you know i'm willing to add, like answer i hope you guys are having fun sorry for the whole fiasco <laughs> oh, uh, it's called i think the fact that we actually switched from one VTT to another, and all four of us set up character sheets in it, and I switched it up. For the now have week. character sheets. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we did. We did oh, that yeah, in an hour. Like that was that was. Yeah, it's shit it's, it's 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 amazing. What's nice is that if you guys ever play more and with other people, there's a game a creator it's called Odd Dudes Creator Odd Dudes, I think it is. But what it is is that you can create a character there and you can uh, save a file. And you can upload that file onto this character creator, and it will like save that one. And there's ones where you can, uh, but it doesn't add. It doesn't have all the extra like talents, uh, information and stuff. You can add it yourself. But yeah, so um, so how how'd you how'd you do, Chris? You, did you enjoy kicking some butt? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you basically uh, if, Zoom if got you finish just like dicking about anywhere, you know. Uh... <laughs> Everywhere you go, you end up in a fight, and I have to go and buy our shit back that the jar was sold. Yeah, it's like it's it's in half. It's like why is this ship in half? It's like we don't need the engine right now. We're on, you know, we're here for a couple months. No, uh, but yeah. Um, boss wants to see us. About this ship. I need to get to go and see the boss. How are we getting there? Are we getting on the ship? We're going. Uh, uh, so your ship is actually uh, is docked in uh, his uh, his palace. Um, you guys actually were given a uh, like it's like a land speeder. Like basically, it's like a flatbed truck kind of deal. Which you guys can just drive around. So whoever can fly, basically, uh, if you look at skills, it says planetary uh, flight. I think it's pilot mm. planetary. I, for, like, you know, I have it, certainly. Okay, so you can have Zoo basically driving for you guys, I'll basically back to the, uh... Real. So, yeah, I had at least somebody can fly something on planet, someone can fly on space. So, basically, uh, I think your pilot is actually, uh, the... <laughs> actually... No, don't say it. Do not say What's it. What's my difficulty? <laughs> yeah, it's a job. What's no, you're not, flying... you're not flying space. It's that Zoo's gonna fly it right now, but you get to fly the spaceship. I'm Are you telling right. me that the Jawa flies our spaceship? Yes, he is actually Does dedicated. Because he, he put it. like little blocks on his feet. Um, oh, what, so what it is is that he has I've a, got basically like you, on the pedals. What are you talking about? I built them myself. Like, so so you, you like you know how like Gal- Guardian of the Galaxy Rocket has that little like his ship like his the seats get retracted to him. So it's set like blocks, and he has a booster seat where he has like the controllers like basically extended out. So he's kind of like levers going like this, buttons he's kind of just mashed that way. So he's like one of his old grandmas, he's barely looking over, he's kind of like... So he can only see like that far. 
But yeah, uh, so Zoo is basically you guys are going through uh, this town. Um, it's really not really too any spectacular. It's like something like a new settlement they built. Uh, Zoo actually has a half-built uh, palace that he's getting built, but your ship is like planted on landed on a uh, little dock they have right there. It's basically a large metal frame that your ship's built uh, sit it on, and you guys are flying. You know, kind of going through. Uh, you see some people watching you guys go by, and you stop between like these large gates, and you see like uh, there's like no guards right there as you guys stop right in front. Uh, these like two like mechanical eyes kind of just kind of like you know blink look at you guys over and like you know you start speaking that weird I forgot what that language is like you know just robotic eyes kind of I guess it might be speaking Hutnese so looking you guys over looking at you kind of looking like you know just kind of the whole doors kind of just open up and you just like like you know like the real loud noise and as you guys pulling through you see there's you know people working like you know slaves you know working uh building stuff there's you know people like droids doing whatever they need to do and zet the hut is basically you notice he's actually a very young hut he's like probably one third the size of java so he's like like barely a dis adult you know like considering and his and he's surrounded with a couple good morning guards and next to him is you know is his i guess you could say major domo is actually a human that he's like you know he's talking to him and he just turns around and he's like and you know this guy is Renar. And he basically, you know, he waves you guys is like coming over this way. And Zet looks over there and he just had this wild smile on his and he's like, Uto Saba here. It's like he basically he's like, Welcome my friends. And it, and, and it's funny, he's like the more like, you know, like, you know, like kind of charismatic kind of hut compared to the ones you probably met before. And he's like, you know, because he's young and he's kind of like, you know, he's just up and coming kind of new kid. Got my own place. You know, it's like, you know, hey, I got my own house, got my own business. I'm running through. My parents ain't on my butt all the time. Not totally, but so he's kind of, and you're like his first crew that is kind of working for him. So. Does he pay us well? So he's, this hot. Do what? Does he pay us well? Oh, he pays you pretty much. He pays your room and board. He gives you, like, you guys are working your ship. So it's like, you know, he gave you a ship, so you guys kind of came in looking for a job, and he's like, I heard you guys. And, you know, he didn't really look at background. He's like, he's like, you got got skills, you got what he needs to do. And he's like, so it's like, say, he's like, uh, he, he, he greets you, and um, Ragnar is like, the great glorious Zet the Hut welcomes his uh, greatest friends. And he kind of just kind of like, you know, he kind of smirks like that. And like, you know, like Zet. And he just kind of just like big booming voice is sitting there, and like and he he's just like rapidly just saying very fast. And Zerg and I was like, "Mighty Zet, please calm yourself. We understand that you're very excited for this, but they cannot understand you very well right now." Just I understand. Walk. Can I understand them? Oh yeah, he does. But it's like you know, he's like a kid, and he's just kind of just rubbing up. It's like, hey, look, guys, I got this job for you. You need to go. And he's like, da da da. Like you know, he's kind of like just really energetic and stuff like that. So Rick and I just kind of just tell him that you know, just you know, relax. Uh, Zet the Hut, uh, from um, his his distant relations, um, his uncle Jabba the Hut requested of him have something delivered to him, and uh, unfortunately for what is not on planet side, it's actually on Nar Shadda. You are to be sent there to retrieve a large crate. We do not know what it is. We do not need to know what it is. It is an extreme favor for Jabba the Hutt to receive this. Zet is quite enthusiastic because if this is completed, one is he will get great favor from his uncle and some great uh, retinue for this. And for each of you, if you succeed for this, we'll be given a thousand credits each. And that's quite a bit of money. Ooh, a thousand credits. Uh, yeah, so that that they say if you exceed, but what it is is that uh, the your ship's repairs are done, it is refueled. You may leave within the next day. And uh, he basically pulls out a, you know, like he pulls out a uh, small little, little like card, and you know, and he basically sticks in a data pad, and it's basically you know, it's like. You know, like data pad size, and he hands it over to Zoo, who's your tech uh, 
whiz kid. <laughs> he's like, so handle this. It's like, this is all the information you will need and who your contact will be there. But you need to get there within the next, like within the week. And return within the same time. Okay. okay. Hey, Max, quick right. question. Um, do you still yes. have Rule 20 open? Can you show me where the... Oh, I found it. Narshada, it's there. Mm hmm. And mm -hmm. we are Tatooine here. Yes. Hey, check it out. I've actually got us a map. So that, glad I kept that open. Well, dude, that, that's why it's like that is literally the best map I've ever seen for Star Wars. And that's why I was like, I want to keep that as like, you know, like a background. So it's like, you know, like for something. And it's just like, you know, a nice reference because it shows you like, you know, like the different kind of like, you know, key. Like I said, what's the route? What's this route and stuff? But yeah, so um, so he says it's like you know everything is ready for you guys. It's only twenty feet. It's be a short flight. Before <laughs> before before we leave, I um I remind them that they owe me money for my bindies that they haven't paid. Uh, like Zet the Hut, like kind of blinks in this look of Ragnar. It's like it's like did we forget to pay him? And then, like, Ragnar kind of looks over data pad, and I'm like, uh, how much are you saying we owe you? 10,000 credits. They laugh? And, 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 like, you know, Zed just, like, smack, like, gives you, like, bear hug. It's like, such a funny mind. Just pats and just kind of walks, off, like, kind of slows it off. But and he's like, I he like your... I encourage the Jabba to kind of eat, eat him. But, like, you know, just, like, swallow him and then spit him out as a joke. I feel that's what he'd probably do. <laughs> I use, can I roll for that? So, so you were saying that this is Jabba, is Zet's uncle that we're gonna go do, go do a job. Yeah, for. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, he's like, it's like his like distant nephew that he's right there. It's like, yeah, and it's like Jabba's like you know big guy. So he's basically he's like you know he's trying to do a favor for his uncle, and especially he's like you guys are stationed like in the like one of like southern poles of Tatooine is like you know not a lot of people out there so it's like a small settlement about there and like uh Zerkit is like you know like the uh, there's like a big mining company that basically started out there and they started just you know like hey they're they're mining stuff out there and have a little small little settlement there and he wants to build it out to have something out there but yeah a c3p what quotes to try something all right go ahead uh if you want to do it um yeah. That would be probably. Uh, let me see. What would be a. F let me see. What skill would be that? Are you uh, trying to intimidate the hut? I hope he succeeds. No, actually, you could, like no, no. You see, you could, you could uh, charm, charm the hut. Yeah, I've got. Okay, I've got. Yeah, hold on. Be so funny if die, I think. Now it's got to be about twenty-seven purple dice left. <laughs> Oh yeah, how many purple dice? I've done the ones that I need to do. What is the difficulty? Uh, so the difficulty was going to be an uh, average check be two purple because he likes you guys. He's like, it, it, it's just one of those. He's still young and it's like you know he he he's still taught in the ways of the huts, but it's that he's still do at it. Oh come on, one success. He he you know he he kind of looks at you know he kind of looks at Seawalk and he's kind of like like you know what's funny it's like like you know like City Walk is Sea Walk. <laughs> um yeah like from south park it's fun yep. but uh he he kind of looks at he blinks and he kind of looks like uh crick but you probably say it in the hut knees and he kind of like you uh, know, he yep. kind of gives you that like knowing smile and he gets like you know he comes up get walk right there and he kind of grabs him sticks his whole mouth over his head go, blah, 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 and pats him on the head and keeps going <laughs> mm -hmm. For me, yeah. No, nah, I'm I'm using athletics or brawl to get away from that. That's not happening. <laughs> uh, That's not happening. It's already okay, happened. Uh, you would, you okay, would okay, so, yeah, it's already all right, happened. So, so, all right. well, if you want to do like you know, just it, it, you're not trying to hurt him, but I say do athletics if you want to do that. Go right ahead. Uh, what is your athletics? Uh, like just, four. One yellow. Okay, so to combat that one is going to be one red and five purple. <laughs> These guys one, are strong. Two, three, I love this game already. <laughs> five. Is this both of them though? Uh, yeah. So it's when you click on your like your skill to run, like you basically go to your your character, click your proper skill, 
then you add the uh, the uh, difficulty for it, which would be one red and five. What is it? Five purple. You say five, pur five, five purple. What? Oh, okay. Now, uh, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it walks. So you sit there, go like you see, like you see his big mouth goes like that, I and mean, he goes. Blah, 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 blah. And that's kind of like you know it, it just kind of he he just he, and he's done that before before uh, to Crick before as a joke when he first met him it's like introduce him it's like hi you know he just kind of like that and he's like he's like he's and he's got just like all a whole like head wet really basically yeah his hair is kind of like just like you know there's like if you had like get like uh if you ever gotten like your head stuck in a toilet and you get like a swirl like a swirly and his face was like that and he's sitting there like and you see this little kind of and he's you know, this big bellow laughing. He just kind of is like, and he's like, don't, don't worry, Crick. It's like, it's like, I'll make sure you get a little extra on your, uh, <laughs> for your trouble. Click and he's just like, you know, he just kind of slithers off. Click looks over at C3 P Walk. C3 P Walk, yeah. <laughs> and just laughs. <laughs> you don't know. I don't think anyone knows unless you speak uh, Japanese. Unless you could crack the yeah, but I, thing. I, I, but I see you, you and know. I see you speaking Jab Japanese. I know you're the only one that can put. <laughs> Or a hot and ease or whatever it is. I know you're the only one that can speak yeah, it. I know it's you're a, at it. It's not easy. And and, and like you go, it's, it is. yeah. So uh, yeah, it, you know, uh, Crick is <laughs> is just you know completely wet out. But you guys are welcome to head out if you guys want to, or just stay out for the rest of the day. So just relax. He just giving us the package now. He's handed us the package, and we've. Oh no no no! You guys actually have to go to North Shadow to go pick it up. Oh, so we're picking to up the back. package at North Yeah, picking up and coming back for that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I'm going to go to our ship and make sure that it's still in one piece. And that little knob end doesn't... Like, so I'm going to run ahead of him and put a little... Just crap. So I'll, I'll just trot along ahead of him and, uh, and I'm going to quickly put nope. a few things back where they should be before he gets there. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, guys, I just want to show the example of what the ship would kind of looks like. So you guys uh, have seen the Clone Wars, the cartoon? Mm -hmm. Or seen it? So you know, no, you know that. All right. Okay. Uh, well, it's uh, it's the it's that little ship that um, Luke Sk or Anakin Skywalker gets his hands on. Is that little ship that basically the wings fold out and goes like this, and it's like really basic looking ship. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I could post a picture. One that looks like an axe or something. Yeah, it, it's it's just just a simple little ship. Nothing very Which spectacular. Pretty much. Uh, let me see. I gotta blow my nose. I'll be right back. Uh, if you can add it on rule twenty, I can show it on on the. Oh on yeah. The screen. Yeah. Cool shit, though. Yeah. So that that's right there. That's uh, that's called the long shot. It's literally. It's just. It's surprising that things right there. This one. It is a very like this thing has probably been around for like another hundred something years maybe. It's 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 been around for a bit, but it, it it's still working. I mean, it's still doing its job. So you guys are doing pretty good. Cool. Yeah. Um. Just going to um make sure all the bits are there. Yeah, it's like, you notice it's like, it's not been uh, Jawa touched. You probably have written on there. It's like, beware of Jawa. Kind of, you know, written on it somewhere. And you probably have be written. Fair, if yeah. um, this is sort of our base, I'm guessing that by now everybody in the general area knows full well. But if that little shitbag tries to sell them anything, that I'm going to come around and. Give him a sound thrashing. Oh, oh, oh no. he, he, or get he, Crick to come round and give him a sound thrashing and take it back again. Yeah, uh, he actually he actually had uh, probably some of his family try to uh, basically buy the whole ship itself, and he's like, "Yeah, I think about ten thousand credits, you can have the entire ship." And I'm like, "Really? Really? I do not buy anything <laughs> from Click." Oh, there will be trouble. Everybody yeah, so like the whole, the whole sediment. I'm everybody the whole of sediment. Tatooine's best customer. They all know me and they all ignore you. We have no, already no. got to deal with everybody. 
No, there's actually signs of him. It's like, do not sell to this Jawa. And it basically has, <laughs> it has a very interesting picture of Click, the very you know unique, probably the way he might wear something. It's like, you see this Jawa, do not sell him. Do not buy something off of him. Even his family kind of like, maybe. I am unfortunate. Maybe. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's like sitting there with his finger crossed, like, yeah, 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 I'm very honest. But, uh, no, it's like, you get your ship ready, um, everything's fine, there's nothing missing. You, uh, you guys are welcome to leave anytime you want, the, it's fueled up, uh, you guys are given, like, like, you know, Crick the basic... Crickle hmm? sprint to the, the pilot seat, and he is gonna take control of the craft. <laughs> Crickle just laugh. Uh... And to be fair, we've got a week, was it, to get to um, Narshada, mm -hmm. get the thing, get back again. We do need to get a bit of a real one. Mm -hmm. well, what, what's funny, Crick can actually fly the ship too if you wanted to. So <laughs> it's like, you, you can even have the Java or you can have him fly it. <laughs> okay, Vote, votes for the human flying the ship. <laughs> Java! Come on, come on, come on, come on. My side. I'm, put I'm, your hand up. I'm voting for the freaking computer to autopilot, I don't trust any of you. <laughs> I sold it. The autopilot I was sold it. it. No, there, it. unfortunately, there is no autopilot, but there is a way that you could put a droid and connect to, but unfortunately, you don't have that capability on this ship. Uh, sold the connector. Uh, I'm, I'm piloting this bad boy. How many dangers do I need to put in, or difficulties do I need to put in? Uh, so, what you gotta do is just you roll, like, since you're on, uh, basically, you uh, pilot the ship from the planet. You roll your pilot at planetary, and it's just gonna be too purple. I question, question. So I wanna. Yes. Uh, Mr. Stark, I, I wanna go to my friend, three C P walk, and I wanna. <laughs> we're gonna see what's on this drive, cause you're a droid. You could read little drives, right? I hope so. so. I mean, that's what all the movies said I can do. Yeah, a little. So take this drive. Away so I, I give, out. I yeah. give him a drive, and I assume he's gonna plug it in somewhere funny on his body. <laughs> Uh, so if he wants to do that when he has to roll at like, computers. Okay, I have reasonably good computers. Okay, so, and that will just be E3 purple. It's going to be hard. Okay. Because it, cause it has a, an encryption on it. Okay, three purples, and I have four green ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did somebody just let the robot do computing? I succeeded oh, Come on, what a rule. No, I go insane. Am I a death bot now? Can I go no, kill people? No, 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 you sit in there, it's like you plug it into like uh to the like the ship's computer and like you know, it's just like you know, like something like pretty small, like you know, it's about the size of a like, you know, like a little bit of desktop, big mirror, like you know, big screen, you're kinda just plugging it through and you're kinda going through it and you kinda look at it and you're kinda like Oh okay, okay, okay. It actually is, uh, it's actually, uh, it's actually in a, uh, it's actually in Huddy's itself, and what it is, is that you, you notice is that this is actually is, um, a, uh, is a command that is like, you know, like a written command for these guys to do something for a, another hut that, um, uh, they're actually to sent uh they're actually for them uh to deliver this little chit to somebody else in the settlement uh that there's another crew that is going to be sent out to go to nar Shada to pick up surprisingly the same item that you're getting so that so this little chip that i stole from these ruffians in the bar is saying that they've got uh, the same bounty mission that we've got it seems so like it <laughs> I anal can I analyze it enough so I know that maybe like this is like number one or number two? Like they've sent a few of these things out. Or oh just, no, it's just, just a it's, it's, it's just the one thing. It's just this. It's just one right there. They, uh, but you don't know who it's sent by. It's just these guys were sent to like deliver it to somebody, but you just don't know who it's getting sent to either. But it's just saying it's just it's from being person A 
is having this sent to person B to tell me, hey, you need to pick this up at this location. It's the same, and it's same like, location that we're looking it is, at. Yeah, same location and probably it's the same item that you're getting. Okay. Mm. Okay, well, so... Uh, I think that probably makes it even more important we get a wriggle on. Yeah, I'll, share, so, uh, I'll share the information with everyone. Okay, as you're probably checking this over, uh, Crick is flipping the levers. Okay, all right, let's get out of here. And he's like, you see the ship kind of just rattle a little bit, go, and it's like, all right, all right. And you kind of like, you know, like you know, hit something. And it's like ping, and it's like this stops, and then I'll go and fix whatever it is he's just broken. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you see him probably like like you know like some like one of the panels is kind of missed and he's kind of looking oh. inside. It's like hey, it's click, like, uh, click uh, presses a little button on a little remote control he's got, and some little LED disco lights around the cockpit that none of you guys have seen yeah. before. Come on, because it's yeah. the newest installation. Some little LED lights are flashing around the inside. Of the yeah, cockpit. yeah, and and you see like there's like a hollow little small hollow trimmer uh, transmitter pops up and there's like you know toilet girls dancing and on that. <laughs> And, and it's just like a music ball kind of right there, and he's kind of like a little, and it's actually like a Jawanese kind of like metal song, kind of it's like. Grrr. So he's just listening, playing that out. But uh, yeah, um, Crick basically is you guys kind of floating out of uh, uh, Tatooine's uh, airspace, and you see their ships flying all about. And as you go, as you uh, as you guys kind of go in, out of this area, you notice that there's. Uh, as you like, you know, like sighted a ship or somebody's looking around, is it? You see, there's another ship coming out, like not from the settlement, but maybe another ten miles out, and you see something flying out that way, and is a larger ship going in your general direction. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna get on the, get on the computer or. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get on at the computer. I'm gonna have a look at see if I can get a zoom in on the cockpit and see if it's those guys. Um. Okay. So, uh, you can uh, this uh, like, well, you can like roll computers and you're using the sensors. See if you can get a better look at them. We need to do it. I don't know what your computer is. Eh, uh, my computer's is two. Have you got a better one? Do you want to do it? Yeah, um, four. Yeah. Go for it. Yellow, three, green. Oh, a yellow and three green. <laughs> have you got have you got four greens, Martin? I think a yellow yeah, and three four greens. I think a yellow yeah, and three greens, greens is better, isn't it? I think All so. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It. Go for it, Dave. So Alright, so uh yeah, go ahead if you can roll it. It'll be a th it'll be a three purple how far range out it is. Okay. So Crick, you had a great landing out, you <laughs> out there. Ooh, yeah, you, you don't really know. You don't, don't know who it is. You're flying out, but they do notice there's a larger ship coming out that way, but unfortunately, Zoo can't use the, the sensors to see who it is. But Wait, with the four why advantages... Why is not working? Yeah, <laughs> but what it is, uh, with the four uh, advantages, I say you can get, like, two bits of information that you're maybe able to glean, maybe, like, what kind of ship it is, or is there some kind of insignia on there, if you might... I was going to uh, say, can we um, ping the transponder? Uh, you can. Uh, uh, what is you notice that the transponder is scrambled? There is no transponder code coming from it. But what you can notice that this one is actually is the ship as it's getting closer. It looks like the same shape of a like the Millennium Falcon. And size wise, okay. compared to our ship, what's it like? Is it a lot bigger? Than if there's um, if there's right. no transponder. Crick I... steers the ship directly towards it. Um, Her head I... on collision. Can I radio the um, air traffic control? Click climbs up to the uh, on it. And tell them that uh, an identified ship with no transponder has just taken off. Well, and unfortunately on Dantooine, they don't really have that kind of stuff because it's not like a major planet. They do have their small, like every individual little city has it. But uh, there is a patrol of like each of the huts have their own like, you know, like set patrol of ships around. Just in case if something really goes on and interrupts their business, you could always try to see if you can contact one of them. Oh, is there not any sort of imperial presence? Oh, no. 
there's no Imperial presence <laughs> the is the at all right now. Oh yeah, this is a point where like you know the 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 imps don't really care about Tatooine right now. They're like not worried about it. There's no one gonna stop me. I'm trying to steer directly towards. I, yeah, I am. I am. I wanna. I wanna hack the computers and like maybe turn the sprinklers on him or something. Just I'm trusting in your plan. And I'm climbing up to the gun turret. Do, 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 do. <laughs> get so wait, <laughs> can I electrocute him with the computers? Can I like talk to them <laughs> and then get them to like shock him to stop what he's uh, doing? Yes, you, you roll computer, and that will be a hard difficulty. That will be three purple. Uh, it's already going so well. <laughs> I know, right? I like Chris's plan. I'm going to over it. It's because you want to kill him, and then you can be the driver. So no, I'm getting the gun turret. I'm I'm going to head over. Got with one six. I got one success. Does that mean he gets okay. a little, little electrocuted? Uh, so, so what, what it is is that you're kind of you know you're messing with the systems, and what it is is that. Chris, you noticing that this the you're like as you're trying to fly it that way, it does not want to move. It's staying where it is. So you're uh -huh. kind of like fighting with it. So it's like I can't move that, and it's still going the same course that you had previously going on. Can I can I hit warp? Is there warp? I start shooting. So well, well, what it is, uh, you uh, you have the astrogation charts, everything ready. All you do is you just hit the button. Hit that button. So as you like, you know, you sit there and you hit it. You was like, you know, you hear it flashing and like the lights start, like you know, and you like. It was too close to the planet, you clown. Now we explode. What's it? Is it gunnery for shooting from the ship? Oh yes, yes, gunnery is for shooting. Oh, so uh, they're uh, they are in long range, but you can run gunnery. That will be uh, three purple. Three purple. Let's go. <laughs> so what's nice is that if you notice the uh, the uh, the picture of the of the ship, it uh, it shows you um, the the gum emplacements where the uh, the uh, is the tail gun can turn around like this. And there's only a front gun, so you got one on there, and there's two guns right there. So you're facing this way, and you got the little turret kind of hits that little seat, gun, turns around, and you start shooting. And, and Lily, as you as you see that, it uh, like you know you you basically the blaster bolts are shooting out, and you start hitting the ship. You notice that the uh, there like was no guns on it. You notice there's turrets that pop up top and bottom of the the freighter that's following you. And it points to where you. So, what do you guys want to do? Keep shooting. Escape, escape pod by myself. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is no escape pod. <laughs> Have to be. I'm, I'm gonna use the planetary's uh, gravity to slingshot around faster than the freight. Can oh, okay. Come around. Okay, so you're gonna do that. Uh, does Zoo want to attempt to try to maybe get the hyperdrive working again? Yeah, I'll fix Continue whatever. Shit. Okay, whatever Crick steers us, I just turn that turn yeah. and shoot at the guy. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna do. We're gonna go with Crick. If you want to roll a piloting, this is gonna be a uh, difficulty dice, but you could add a black because of the uh, turbulence you're going through the planetary atmosphere as you're kind of uh, slingshot yourself around. So it'd be One. three purple. <clears throat> Three purple. And one black. And one black, okay. Mm -hmm. And just roll your pilot. Ooh! Alright, he succeeds. So he's like, you know, is you see and he kinda just turns this around and he's using the gravity of the of the plant to slingshot around it. And you see the freighter kinda just moves, falls slow is right behind you. And you're just kind of move weaving around. He, uh, you see the Jawa just sitting there, guy like laughing maniacally. <laughs> just blasters random around. All right, so uh, now we can have Zoo so you know you roll it. Now, what this is going on, this is going to be a really difficult for you to kind of fix this up because you have him flying around. You have your crazy little buddy shooting the hell out of stuff. <laughs> and what it does is, unfortunately, 
You find out is that the hyperdrive doesn't work very well while you're using the guns. So there's going to be a penalty for that. <laughs> can, can I not just unplug the guns? <laughs> you can. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the power links for the guns and the hyperdrive are on the same system. If you disable that, you would disable the the hyperdrive. So it, you kind of... Who wired this shit together? That was you, because you wanted to save oh. money. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a good reason at the time. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a good reason at the time. <laughs> I love this ship. This is the best ship ever. The long shot. <laughs> They'll explode in like any second. No. Well, unfortunately, there was a chance that did happen once. Well, you know, we ain't gonna talk about that. But um, yeah. Uh, so roll your uh, mechanics. But you don't forget, you do have your destiny dice. If you want to flip over. One yeah, I was thinking about that. Uh, how many? How many purples is this? So this is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be uh, three purple, one black. But what you do, don't don't forget to flip the the white. Okay, I'm gonna flip it for you, so you can increase your thing by one. Then I'm gonna flip it over again. So whatever those purple is gonna be a red now. So you're gonna have one red, two purples, and a black. I'm red too. And what do I get extra? Uh, you get no. You don't get anything extra. You just roll your straight mechanics. Oh no! You, so what it is to say when your greens go oh. up to a yellow? Yeah, so it's like if you okay. had one, so it's just whatever the green was goes up to a yellow. Yeah, change one of the greens to yellow. I'm gonna grab a snack guy. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, so he he succeeds pretty well. So he's he's sitting there, he's flipping it through, and he's sitting there and is with the great piloting of our uh, Grick right here and the, you see Zoo kind of hammering some cuss and that is like damn job well, quit messing with shit back here because he flipped over the wires like you know some of the uh, some of the um, <laughs> some of the jumper cables flipped this way he kind of stick at this this is like maybe this works better than flipping around so it's negative to a positive and I'm like I no. <laughs> so uh you got it activated uh and it's up to you. Now, you know it's working, and you can start hearing hum is... And it has a nice hum. And it's like, it seems like it's working right now. I'll just flip the um, go to hyperdrive switch for him. Yeah, so you got a back button right here. It's like, all right, button. And you, you're sitting there, Chris. So you're kind of flying through, and you're get, like you're going over. And with the aftergation is already put through, you see you're, you kind of tilt the ship a certain way. And you hear the engines come on, and you're like about to press the button... And it shoots for you, so you get jerk back. You're like, oh, wham! Nice. And everything goes blue. So hyperdrive has been activated. Yes. Uh, I, so I are we last. geared? Yep. Y'all ready to go? All right. I'm in the ship controls. In so. Yep, hyperspace is everything set. You know, everything's just set up, and you just kind of sitting there in the pilot say not much to do at the moment. So it takes I'm about. And then I'm doing shit. Well, he just pressing buttons like. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Probably have Zoo and uh, uh, <laughs> click. Stop fighting pressing up. the buttons. I'm not sure, but I'm aiming at every pass and everything we pass, every star, every ship. I'm just practicing my aim. The turret on You're the shooting out of happy space. You're just shooting into the blue. I'm shooting into the blue. I'm not actually shooting yeah. anything, but the turret's constantly moving around on the yeah. ship. So it, it's it you know it's a very like you know very just very droll like seven days. Not much. You're just probably sitting there counting cards, whatever, playing something. You know, playing bingo. Someone cheated. Click. It's like you can't play bingo again. Click. I don't know why you're doing it. <laughs> Click gets banned from bingo. Yeah, Click yeah he, uh, banned from playing bingo. Uh, he, 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 got, he got banned from the company bingo because he cheated. I'm assuming we've got a Dejeric Hollow table as well. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. So you got to tip. play the um, Jawa, though, of course. Mm -mm. I'm sure he cheats. I'm pretty sure I'd be great at all these games being a droid, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I just automatically win every time? Like uh, depending, on how you're depending how you're programmed. Mm. Yeah, you can be programmed to play competitively or you can be programmed to just win, I suppose. I was like, unfortunately, you're programmed for um, language and etiquette. 
Uh, not for intelligence. No, well, he's a doctor. He's not actually a translation bot. That's just a bonus. Oh, uh, yeah, he's a doctor. Yeah. No, he's, just, he's intelligent, right? So you can turn a back to tank on, is what we're saying. Mm, yep. He can yell at your peacemaker. <laughs> Work! <laughs> I think I'd have tampered with myself a bit to make sure I could do a lot of shit. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh... Continuing the press buttons, finding out what they do. Remember you've got can I, you know when the droid like powers himself off for a bit? Can I um, pop a restraining bolt on him? <laughs> he's got, he's got a, the, the droid's got a Jawa in his crew. You know he's got attachments and extras. We've been stealing little bits and pieces, and we've been adding mm. bits and pieces to my droid pr friend for years. He's got lots of little secret extras. You get a couple of odds and ends. You have a half broken um, restraining bolt. You probably could spend some time getting it fixed. Um, while we're just going through hyperspace, yeah, I'll fix if I, I'll definitely fix one of those up because it'll come in handy, even if not for um, our, our friendly droid might be handy to have one. I um. I, I asked C3P walk if um, he has any uh, battle uh, simulation modes. Uh, be, uh, even if I didn't, I'd say I did and do some weird, weird <laughs> copy of fighting moves. Tai Chi. Hey, if you have seven, days, mm -hmm. seven days travel in hyperspace, do I have time to. Can I make any attachments to this stun? baton that I found, can I make this any better at all with tinkering, engineering, Jawa-like abilities? Um, I mean, are you medically inclined? Mechanically inclined, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna just pick the Jawa up. I got two in mechanics. We do not repair the ship in hyperspace. Do you not remember what happened last time? No, I'm not repairing the ship. Back I'm down again. I'm doing, I'm doing uh, attachments. If you look on weapons, ah. it says attachments. You can do attachments. Ooh. So oh, dude, 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 dude. All right. weapons. I can actually tell you what the attachment does. Is one of it is. It's like let's just say if you have a blade of weapon, you can have a modified blade that adds worse damage. You can add a balance hilt, which actually helps in battle. It, it's a mods can go for weapons, um, equipment, and starships. You can actually customize the starship if you so want to later on. I have the time on. and the expertise to add a mod to either of my weapons, my gun or my stun baton. Mm. Are you going to put your stun baton on your gun? No, I'm just wondering if there's anything I could do to improve the two of them in the time we've got with the skills that I've got and the resources that I've got. Um, You might be able to, like, you know, there's a bunch of odds in, as I said, that you guys collected. Probably with the help of Zoo, you probably could put a, like a little scope on your gun to give it like basically an accurate one and gives you a free blue on it. Right. Okay. I'll do that then. If if Zoo's willing to help me, I'll give it to you. Nice. So can we work together on it then? Or I could just like do it properly first time. <laughs> I think you should just make it make a noise that goes bang, 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 bang when it fires. Yeah, I'm just going to give him... Uh, <laughs> I like the Joker gun. Bang. <laughs> I'm just going to get some toy guns and like paint them really well to look realistic. <laughs> I give him a toy gun that makes all the, the exciting noises. I'm, I'm adding a scope. Too late, I'm adding a scope. I mean, he's going to miss anyway. So it's not like it's going to make a difference to any so actual... What is it, plus one sort of... blue dice? So, yeah. It's so... Yeah. How, how, many, how much difficulty is it for me to hit Martin? I mean, um, C3P what? Um, not that hard. Why, are you going to hit him for I'm some gonna, reason? I'm going to do it, yeah. Alright, I'll try it. I, I wanted to know if he could fight. <laughs> Pretty sure right, I can. Go. I've got a laser. Are you gonna? So you guys gonna fight with stun weapons? I mean, you guys can shoot each other with stun weapons, and not kill each other. I'm, no, if he, I'm if just he gonna hits, brawl. If he hits me, I'll do something. I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and punch him. Um, 
Two successes, six no, I'm not value. shooting anyone here, yeah, yeah. I'm just testing my weapon. So I add a blue. Uh, so, um, Crick, if you're trying to hit him, it'd be uh, two purple. Two purple. Can I just mm -hmm. roll the two purple separately? Mm-hmm. Okay. Once he's hit me, I want to use my medicine to sedate him for like five days. <laughs> okay, go ahead. You know, that's probably the best plan you've had yet. <laughs> What do I have to do? Does he just hit me and then I hurt or something? Don't so he hit you. He, he I hits you and did you to take it with my weapon and the bounty hunter and the droid are fighting. Yeah, so he he punches them and he like you know you get you kind of step back. But what's nice is that uh, part of your arm on this one actually has some medical tools, so you can actually shoot like a uh, a a, a the snooze. You call it a snooze button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got two yellow and two green for medicine, so the fingers crossed. So how many purple is it? <clears throat> what's your brawl? What's your brawl up? Uh, four. Uh, let me see. Brawl is one yellow, three uh, green. So convert that one red and three three purple but if you want to you can use one of your uh force dice to give you a nectar uh you to be great to scrap why don't i get force dice no oh, you never asked uh, so that's what you said Blood. one red so one red and two purple or three purple three, three purple oh, three people don't forget if you use the force dice he gets to fuck us over with force dice later yeah i oh, know i'm Blue okay i'm not that bothered Oh, no, you I missed. got a failure. Yeah. So. You missed. So you see him, he tried to punch you back. It's like, you know, you guys are having a, like, he's just kind of like showing what he can, I guess, what he can do. He tried to punch you and you kind of like see a syringe. You're like, oh, shit. Click, I think I'm just going to go to my room and cry and wait to die. Yeah, Click, look, click looks at Zoo and he's like, <laughs> the finish goes back to tinkering with his weapon. Let's him get on with it. I think I think Crick um, steps to the side and just pushes the droid under the wall and says, I thought you had training protocols where you could engage in combat. I wanted to train during this seven-day journey. And then um, would I know that it was like a medical sleep syringe thing? No, you just you just saw like something a little pointy so you Okay. I thought it might so have been I, like I end my sentence there, so say what you will. I'm gonna I'm gonna fake cry under the wherever you threw me, but then I'm gonna start tampering with the computers to get you back. <laughs> <laughs> so I I wanna I wanna tell the computers that um he's a pest and whatever mechanical thing the ship would do to get rid of a pest, you know, like airlock shit or little mini robots or you know that shit have i have i finished um fixing this restraining bolt yet oh yeah you already have it yeah i have it ready um kind of if he's going to start tinkering if he comes out with i'm gonna start messing with the ship that that in restraining a, bolt a, is a going nice straight way. on in a nice way, a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there is, there is no I'm nice crying. way of opening an airlock in hyperspace. It doesn't have to be an airlock, just like, you know. Unfortunately, the ship that you guys have, there's no airlock. It's just a back door opens and you walk out. <laughs> right what about... What, what, what about can I make the ship fly upside down so I can, like, kind of make him, like, fall, fall down a bit? Or has, uh, it gravi uh, has it got gravity it, stuff to stop that? We're, we're it hyperspace. gravity stuff. Yeah, there's gravity stuff that there's like yeah. anti gravity field that keeps everybody like that. So, I'm yeah. just gonna I'm just gonna put laxatives in his food. <laughs> there you go. Said, hey, hey, you make, hey, well, hey, you're making the food, so he literally has the runs for the next couple days. How about that? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> God, I didn't. I wouldn't eat anything that he prepared. There's no. <laughs> it was the computer. It's the ship. It's the ship that makes the food, and they're my friend. So. Roll for it. 
<laughs> okay, what do I have to roll? Computers again, or... No, 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 uh, uh, let me, let me figure it out. Okay, deception, okay. my deception shit. Uh, 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 wait a minute, um... I love can I use... I love how the droids roll, the roll, roll survival, I say roll survival. It, it's like, you know, idea, like, you know, if you can f mix with something. Okay, I've only got one for that, okay. And, uh, be too purple. Okay. I'm glad we're, we've, like, really come together as a uh, team. Glad we're getting there, along. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing nothing happened. Nope. Nothing oh, happens. Oh. Well, yeah. Nope. <laughs> right, so, uh... Man, erase all his uh, porn. All the porn is going off the computer. Right, so, like, nothing left. <laughs> so, it's been about, like, three or four days. Uh, mm, we, well, no, his porn, your porn's fine. Right. I, I don't even want to know about that. That's on your business. Whatever you do, his own self is himself. All right. But it's about the fifth day. Uh, you guys are probably getting a little bit of cabin fever. That's probably why you guys are fighting each other. Like, God, uh, it's taking longer than you expected. Uh, so, um, everything is fine for the next couple of days. And you get out of uh, hackerspace, you're out probably within the... Uh, the system of Narshada, and you do actually get hails from the local uh, nut patrols, uh, hut patrols in the area. Uh, we'll just respond with uh, our call sign, tell them um, where we're heading for. So you guys got like your transporters, everything right there and there. Yeah. They're reading us like, uh, like, you know, acknowledge uh, you were a ship from uh, Zet the Hut from Tatooine. You were inspected. Um, they send you the information of what dock you basically uh, can park at, and they will have someone uh, meet you there. Nice. Cool. All right, now, now Mr. Crick, you need to roll some piloting to make sure you actually get there safely. Uh, any difficulty? Uh, it'll be a hard and it'll be a black because it is a very busy day. Oh, There's a lot. Oh, of stuff. So he came in during the traffic traffic time. It's like uh, you know, can like I can I try and distract him? Can I be like playing really bad <laughs> robot techno music to like mess him up when he's trying to like oh, watch wow. it? Mm. Right, hang on. I give, I give him another black. Right. It's, I give it's business back. time now. It's time to get your serious head on. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. hard, is hard three or two? Mm -hmm. Three. And one black three. because of the way uh, the air traffic is right now. I'm playing uh, soothing uh, robot music to help him. One, one, okay. one triumph, though, which is more than a success, I would assume. Mm -mm. No, so, uh, so he doesn't succeed, but he doesn't die. As he as he's flying through, he's kind of right, like you know right there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he has a near miss by a ship, and you can hear scraping on the bottom of your ship. And for something he might have like scraped on the bottom, you lost all power. Uh, crack. You but as he's like, you yeah, so you. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, as you flame through, it's like, it starts plummeting, he's sitting there kind of, like, you know, pulling through this, and he doesn't land in your dock, but he lands in a giant pool of water, where there's a large hut looking in, and you guys are kind of, like, this gooey mess, kind of floating there, kind of, like, if you like this huge... jacuzzi. Pretty much, a very large jacuzzi. Chip size. And you see it just looking at you, you kind of like, the hell? I'll swear in Jawa and say in Jawa, <laughs> nice flying human. At least you lived! I'm going to have to steal a lot to fix this ship. Can I alert the intergalactic um, driving police so we can get some points on his license? <laughs> so like a... <laughs> I don't think he's got a license. Is it, like, that is, it like, is, it, is it like Fifth Element where if he gets too many, he just doesn't let you drive? Not that mm. I mean, I'm beginning to feel it. shouldn't let him drive anyway. Yeah, he's, no. who let the human pilot the ship anyway? <laughs> I am um, just <laughs> not gonna deal with this anymore. 
Y'all <laughs> want a Jawa pilot? You can have a fucking Jawa pilot. You see, <laughs> we don't does want a better a Jawa job. Pilot. There we I go. Got no, you no, got he... what you got. So we got here safe. Y'all owe me 50 credits each. That's not how it works when you're like part of a team and you know it, you massive human bell end. I'll <laughs> say that in um, Ryloth. <laughs> so, I mean, he, he, he got you safely there, but uh, in, at least in most in one piece. One way, broken piece. Yeah. So unfortunately, like you know, you got the ship might be stuck there for a little bit and needs uh, quite a few repairs. So, uh, but yeah, you, you you see like you know like the the hut looks down at you guys and you know starts like you know bellowing right there and you see guards kind of like you know right there and there's big guns pointed at your ship. <sighs> I'll uh, I'll I'll say sorry and um, I'll tell you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna, sorry. I'm going to tape the costume for the last hour of the report then. <laughs> um, I'm going to want to use athletics to try and get out of there. Okay. Roll athletics and it will just be uh, too purple because it, it, it's not too bad to get out of there. Oh! So you. So you see in this, it's like the, the, the rear of the ship opens up and he sits there and it's like, all right, you going to be like this? He literally runs up and bounces like like it, like if the ground was jello and he's basically somersaults out there and he just like, Ta-da! and he's like, what about you guys? You, you, you What's going on? What's taking you so long? It'd be like a captain never leaves his ship. So clearly, <laughs> thinking, you know. <laughs> Do, do I have, uh, like, a traveler kit or, like, an explorer kit? Or just, mm. just as a bounty hunter, surely I would have some survival-esque things, no? Yeah, you have basic supplies that you need. It's like you have a backpack for that kind of stuff that you might need. So would it, would I be able to lower a rope to get them to where I am? Yeah, you uh, you can actually uh, like throw a line over to them. I do that. I do whatever the equivalent of an insight check is because I fear he's gonna like pull us all in the water or something. And I'm a droid. I don't think we do well in water. Um, I'm gonna flip a I'm, I'm gonna flip one of these and said it actually hooks onto you, Martin. And okay. It's stuck in- Middle of your leg in the crotch right there, so he can't really get it out. So he's kind of like tink tink. So he has a solid. Yeah, he has a solid. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like so you threw it down there. It's like all right, it's 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 hit on something. So you're like you're good. So it's like you just yell down. And it's like hey, it's good. Come on up. I guess he can just literally pull me up by my groin area, robot groin area. <laughs> no, none of the rest of you guys want to shimmy up before he uh, gets <laughs> yanked off yeah I'm going to try and get up as well yeah kind of need to don't we no, so you guys can get up there pretty simply I it's like you know so how do I look <laughs> it looks like you're cold <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> a was meant for the so much snow, so he's like instead of brown, it's a white <laughs> robe on. <laughs> you look like you know when they're on the news and they're not allowed to show their face. You look like one of them, but from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome Java costume. Like I think I did not bad. No, it's good. It's yeah, that's what I'm it's disturbing. Yeah. It's disturbing. Yeah, that's why it's like a Java in snow. But like, you can't see me in sand. Now you can't see me in snow. So you guys get up there, um, there's actually guards that are, like, surrounding you guys, and there's guys decked out in, like, heavy armor, big blaster rifles, and, you know, they're all, like, pointing guns at, like, not at you, but in your direction. I was just sorry. It's all right. Okay, and you see this, and you I'll see this. the mold in their languages, if that helps. Oh, yeah, and, and like, you know, they kind of look at you, and, um, and one of them basically is like was going to say something, but you see this massive hut. You know how Jawab is big? This thing is three times his size. 
Yeah. It is a massive hut. And and it has this large uh hover lift under it and then basically it's hovering over to you guys. And um next to him is a uh is a protocol droid and basically it's like with a robotic voice is like who dares entrail into uh, Pantra, the little glorious hut, and you know, like a bunch of different titles and stuff like that? And you're kind of like, you hear one, you hear them all. But, and, and it just, you know, he looks at you, and the hut just kind of like nearly looks at you and looks at the ship and kind of like, like raising eyebrows, like, and just, you know, yells at the droid about something. The droid just kind of like, nod its head, it's like, and then, like, the hut points at the emblem on your ship. It's like, and basically says, Zet Hut. Zet Hut. Like, you know, basically, you know, like, the only common he speaks to you guys. Uh, do any of us speak Hutties? I probably do. You want to see the yeah, big messengers from Zet Hut? So, uh, basically, uh, the droid basically lets you know that, uh, the, uh, it's like you each of you would have been taken care of immediately but um, but fortunate for you your employer the the hut smiles has a item that the great pantra needs to be delivered to Jabba the hut and strangely you know that you mysteriously landed here But it, it seems like your ship will be indeed repairs for a short time, but for now I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, so for now, uh you will be escorted to some uh guest quarters until the ship is properly taken out of uh my lord Hutt's uh private ch uh bathing chamber. And uh, to a repair to pocket. So, <laughs> it, 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 as you're talking this one, you hear you hear the like you know like this like gurgling noise, and the ship starts just sinking in, completely engulfed in it. And you just see it. There's like it, it's gone darkness down there. So it's like way deep down there. So it's like or longer. But yes, uh, you're welcome to uh, use your quarters here for a short time until, as we said. Your ship is taken care of, but you are only allowed to do your guest rooms, and you may travel the the air the sector at your discretion. <laughs> He's gonna tie himself in there. Can I tie it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to call like an ambulance to get him freed from that yeah. live on stream. That's what's gonna happen. He's does gonna get knife. Does, it, it's like, does it look good? Cause I can't yep. see shit, but I think. It oh no, it looks good. good. <laughs> it nice. looks disturbing, like very. Disturbing. I was gonna say that is disturbing rather than. Uh... Yeah, yeah, and, and it's bad. It's like I don't know why that giant tarantula is crawling on his shoulder right now. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Sorry, has one got loose? Oh no! Did that one get loose again? See, big bug. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, you guys are actually uh, given rooms to one of the uh, common areas of... It's not for uh, slaves, but it's more for like, you know, the common workers. But there are guards posted in the area. But if you guys wish to uh, explore the sector that... They tell you there is a marketplace not too far if you wish to go any shopping or something like that. My little yellow eyes light up. <laughs> yeah, shopping for bits to fix our ship again. Yeah, let's go shopping, zoo. <laughs> when I get some attachments for my robot body. <laughs> I, um, I lie to the group and tell them I'm going to look for parts, but I'm just going to the bar. <laughs> Standard. All right. So, uh. Um, I don't know whose idea it was to bring a human along board, but. I guess he's handy in a fight or something. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good distraction while I steal shit from people. So their, their organs are worth a lot of money. 
Oh yeah, that's, that's why we got that. That's for the logo. That's why. Oh, yeah, that's 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 why. Why. As you guys exit the uh, large palace, um, you guys are escorted out through uh, one of the side entrances. Each given a uh, little, um, like a little pin that shows you that you're a guest of this hut, and you have to keep this with you so you know you can go back in here because your ship is literally inside the palace. You can't get it without it, and. Um, you can see it down the line, there's neon lights and stuff like that. There's a couple bars, a couple clubs, and there's like, you know, shops about in that area. But it's like the uh, droid who escorted you out, it's like, just be forewarned. Uh, it is quite dangerous down there, and we are not responsible for any damages or any injuries that you suffer there. Have yeah, a good day. On the Al Shaddaa, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> the smuggler's moon, the greatest, <laughs> the greatest scum and villain. Yeah, I'm all about yeah. the scum and villainy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes tattooing look good. Mm. What are you saying about tattooing? I'm saying that Nal Saddam makes tattooing look like positively respectful. I was, mm -hmm. I showed you my new stun baton because I might just show you in a minute if you talk about my homeland tattooing like that again. Yeah. <laughs> you only, know what it's like. Homeland, it is your place of employment, so don't talk shit about tattooing, boy. Come on. It's a matter of pride that tattooing is like an absolute shithole. It's my shithole. And you, and you know it. It's our shithole. We love it. All I'm saying. Okay, um, it's the jock strap will be stolen next time you land back on Tatooine. I'll be the, this the place around. makes tattooing look like I don't know, Coruscant. <laughs> mm. Go to the market. Mm -hmm. You guys are heading down through is like uh, there's like, you know, there's a couple shops, there's a couple stalls in front, people selling food, selling like just random crap. You notice a few Jawas looking at you. Click kind of like, hey, you owe me 50 credits. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, do any of them have anything worth stealing? Can like I rule perception? Uh, nah, dude, they just got crap, man. It, they're just, you know how it is. They're just selling the worst shit here. This is like not the best place to sell stuff. But, um, no, as you guys are going through, you, uh, depending on what you're looking for, you see there's a, like, there's a large casino, like, down the way, uh, with a huge bar inside. Um, there's a, like, there's a, like, a weapon shop kind of in on the side that they sell, like, it kind of looks like a supermarket, but for, like, different attachments, weapons, armors, and stuff like that. Hmm. I might go an interesting look, actually. What do you think, sir? Yeah, well, we've got a ship needs fixing, so. Well, we've had a look at the ship to, just, to know what parts we need to get to fix it, no doubt. Um, um, you have a general idea, but uh, I'm sure that you'll give a list uh, from these guys of what that will be repaired or what you need to find for them at some point because they gave you some, like, they gave you their uh, comm channel, like, you know, they can connect you to it. And they gave you like a little, uh, like a little uh, hollow transmitter device, so they can keep with you. Craig, uh, Craig turns up at this point um, with a not not a not a child, but a very small man, <laughs> and he, he tells the, the group that he has been drinking with him. He's very intoxicated. It's very <laughs> clear that he's very drunk. And she, got, she got a the, child drunk. <laughs> no, no, it's a small man, right? Oh, it's an urn. No, dwarfs, dwarfs, dwarfs it don't like exist. It's it's, it's it's some an species. Is it a leprechaun? It appears, it appears kind of hobbitish. Um, <laughs> so he tells me that he has a ship that we can use 
for 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 free and he doesn't want anything in return but he wants the ship back when we're done with it that seems unlikely seems a bit too uh, much he, true. He, he just he's just thinking this guy is just saying anything he wants this big guy not to kill him it's like yeah i got that yeah yeah, yeah. man it's good and he's just scared shit with his big humans all over him what language does the little man speak does he speak? oh he's speaking he's speaking uh basic basically that's the common language it's like basically yeah. human language and he's just sitting there kind of sweating. He's like, can you, can you, can you get the big guy off of me? I'm going to explain what other language does he speak? Like any other language? Because I'm going to oh, talk no, he, Um, I don't know. It's like, you know, it's like there's, uh, Huttonese is pretty popular over here. I mean, any yeah, language I, can speak gonna, on here. I'm going to say in Huttonese that my friend would like him to be his wife. And, um, he needs to, <laughs> um, he won't hurt him <laughs> as long as he accepts. The drinking uh, ritual that these guys have done to <laughs> confirm the marriage. What? Well, it's like what? Well, no, no. He's like, well, it, it doesn't seem like me, but it is that uh, that 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 uh, giant uh, like I forgot what it was called. The lizard ones. Uh, the uh, mm, the ones that hate Wookies is like the other ones. Oh, God, the Dosians. Yeah. That female tradition that he drunk with seemed to like him very much and uh, gave him her uh, calm channel. Oh, we were in so much trouble. Yeah, so it's like, I think there was something about, like, you know, a great hunt and, uh, like, you know, like marriage. It's like, you see on his, on his arm, he has a giant tattoo of, like, a marriage proposal on there. He was just so drunk and didn't realize it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Do you, want to give so, up, do you want to give up drinking yet? Because this happens a lot. This has happened like three times this month. Unfortunately, oh. yes. Humans have no constitution. Oh, no, he oh. does. He's really strong. He just, he just a lot to knock his ass out. Oh. Do I need to roll something? Oh, for what? I don't know to love, like, love to see if it's a loveless marriage or if it's one filled with happiness. <laughs> yeah, it is. I I googled I googled what race I was thinking of. It's an ugnot. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is the ugnot? It's like the like yeah. the pig. It's like you know he's squealing. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> he just wrangled us a new crew member. Because it's, <laughs> it's nice. his ship, basically. It's Says it says we can use this ship, so you know. Nice I you, felt man. we could use this ship. Alright, so as you guys are talking like this, you, you see there's a large Trandoshan, like I mean huge, almost wiki size. Like well, like, you know, Grix is sitting there, he just kinda you see this giant like reptilian claw like grabs your shoulder and kinda just like kinda taps on it. Top some my shoulder or yeah, it, it, it traps on your shoulder you'd like i staggeringly turn to see what's topping me you, you see there's a large trandoshan and you've seen this guy before and he's like greg you come for the fights again huh and we'll end it here hey nice Ooh. Gonna get fucked up in every way. <laughs> oh, and uh, what's funny? Hey. Is he recognized this is uh, he doesn't know this is actually the female's bigger brother. <sighs> oh, yes, Chris. you in trouble. You're, you're, gonna have, you're gonna have to wear a gold bikini next episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he need to get pasties too because you can't show nipples on. Uh... Don't be a don't be a whore, Chris. Don't show your nipples. You're, you're allowed to show male nipples on Twitch. It has since been changed. As long as there is good reason for you <laughs> to have your nipples out, you can show your nipples as a male. So, so he's gonna wear like a golden you know. He's yeah. gonna wear golden Chris, you know. I I never show nipples on my Twitch for the quality, mate. If the girls can't, I don't. So for the quality, there's no male nipples on my channel either. Well, but as long as you're, if you're in a bikini, that's fine. Gold yeah, bikini, I mean, where I mean, it is, boys. So we'll, we'll order that for the next session. Get get one of them yeah, ordered yeah. on our next shopping list. Yeah, all right. Gold bikini for Chris and boy. Yeah. <laughs>